great news great news if you're fucking andrew tate great news if you're fucking andrew tate garrett of reuters look at that i don't know if this is a a sign of what's to come for his court case or if this is just like a temporary thing but this is a pretty big deal the headline courtesy of reuters andrew tate to get luxury cars romanian to get luxury cars back sorry romanian court rules andrew tate to get back luxury cars romanian court rules so according to the article here all of the assets that the romanian court stripped or took sorry took from andrew tate have now been returned to him it says interpersonality andrew tate should get back luxury cars worth about four million euros that were seized by prosecution pending a second criminal investigation into criminal trafficking allegation accusation sorry you can see there um some pictures of the cars um tate was placed under house arrest on august pending a second investigation on accusations of a forming an organized criminal group human trafficking trafficking of minors sexual intercourse of a minor and money laundering prosecutors are also investigating his brother tristan and four other suspects who are under judicial control in a lighter um preventative measure that takes how death how detention all have denied wrongdoing as part of the investigation prosecutors also seize cars and other assets and takes have challenged these seizures the cars include two mclarens four ferraris a maybach a maserati a lamborghini a representative have said um the takes defense lawyer um eugene vinedicnik of vd vidinyak vidinyak um welcomed the ruling saying in a statement they could not have been different considering the deals of the case the tate brothers who have dual u.s and british citizenships um were already indicted in mid 2023 so separate human trafficking and sexual exploitation case the trial is pending a challenge at the bucharest court of appeals a self-described misogynist social media influencer tate has gained millions of followers by promoting an ultra masculine lifestyle that criticizes degenerates women um blah, blah 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 so that's a crazy update i'm not gonna lie that might point to the direction of these guys getting acquitted of all charges i'm still confused i'm still really confused why the romanian courts do this do it in this way why do the romanian courts decide because in any other country when you're bringing a case like this against somebody you usually try to gather all your evidence make a strong case and then hit them when you're ready when you're 99 percent sure you're most likely going to get a conviction or a plea you don't go after somebody and then investigate it during the going i mean it's a strange way to go about things i wonder why they do it i'm sure there's a reason to to it i'm sure there's a you know much smarter people have probably come up with this and decided it's a better way to do things but i think the approach of uh, you know charging somebody with something and then trying to gather your evidence during the investigation is just bizarre surely the investigation happened before then you go after somebody and you know with most of the things already kind of done and then you can kind of go straight to court and kind of obviously have your day in court and decide it that way but i always felt like the way that they do it romania or the romanian courts do it i feel like would always give these guys a chance to kind of get out of it or to kind of get some wins along the way because some of this stuff is going to be you know the courts are not going to kind of view it favorably if you're holding on to these guys assets but you've not really charged them with anything concrete there's no new evidence nothing has really gone anywhere it's still the same things we heard before it's like if that's not enough to convict them then you might just move on i don't know do you know what i mean i don't i don't really know what's going on because if if, if if i had to guess i would say more than likely they are guilty of some of the things they've been accused of you know where they you know where they smoke there's fire and i feel like there's so much evidence of the crazy shit they were doing back in the days before they kind of you know fixed up a little bit because i've always said i felt like these guys the tape brothers were maybe they kind of maybe i felt like became famous online by accident i feel like maybe their main bread and butter was the you know the whorehouses quote unquote was some of these chat rooms was maybe some of this human trafficking shit whatever they're doing i feel like that might have been their bread and butter they may have found a country like romania where they could maybe get away with some of the shit but then during the process of doing their bread and butter they also became social media influencers and whatever and personalities and then that really took off and obviously that business ended up probably eclipsing some of the money that they were making you know illegally and then of course they had to probably fix up and sort of like do away with that past but obviously it came and, co and co up with them so i feel like some of that stuff that they've been accused of they've definitely done it but it's just whether or not you could prove it i guess that's the problem that they're having um the courts in ukraine in, sorry not ukraine in romania can they prove the tates are as bad 
as they clearly look to be or seem to be. And now at the moment they can't, which is why um, Andrew Tate posted this uh, tweet here, courtesy of his Twitter. He says, breaking news, the Bucharest Tribunal Court has just ruled to return my $40 million of assets due to lack of evidence. Is that 40 million or 4 million? Okay, 40 million. All supercars, all gold bars, $3 million in cash, everything. And that's him smiling, being happy on the fucking laptop, topless, sitting there. I always wonder, why do people sit down on leather chairs that are topless? Doesn't it, isn't it a little bit uncomfortable with the fucking, if you're sweating and shit? Or maybe you don't sweat, who knows? We're just very happy, thumbs up, having a good time there. So I guess we'll probably see a tweet or a video probably soon from them showing all the luxury things being returned back to them. So he's clearly happy about that. And I guess this probably points to the direction that most likely this court case against them probably might not go the way some of us think it should go because i feel like these guys have been under the microscope for a long time if they did do anything illegal then it probably should have been kind of you know punished with already it hasn't gone that way for whatever reason but i feel like sometimes that investigation the way they do things in romania probably hasn't helped things but again i could be wrong i could be wrong